Why, how dare you rig the audience that way? What is that? Now, if I walk, if you came out at the beginning and did the monologue, and then you introduced me and I came out, I, we look enough alike. There wouldn't be that <laughs> great a no, difference. No, but as I that. whispered in uh, Dick's ear, you see, I have six sisters. So if I had six sisters out here, I'd have quite a group. <laughs> you did six literal sisters in the, in the old sense? What do you sense? mean, six literal sisters? <laughs> well, I mean, as opposed to uh, nuns, six, you I mean see. your own actual sisters? Yes, are... I have six sisters, and I'm the only boy in the family. And before you ask, I have three sisters who are older than I am, and I have three sisters who are younger than I am. You're the middle. Yeah, and I've survived that, so that's why you see in movies why I can survive anything. <laughs> now, you look great. Now, I know everybody says that, but tell us three ages, one of which is your real age, and... and Because um, I, I don't want to... Well, as a matter Just of fact... Just name three numbers. As a matter of fact, I've lied so often about my age, I really forget how old I am. Well, and what's it in the neighborhood of, roughly? Uh, oh, I'd you're say... Uh, younger than Lionel Barrymore would be <laughs> if you were... Uh, <laughs> I am... How old are you, Kirk? I am 53 years old. You are 53? Yeah. And how much? That's it? Is that good or bad? What are you... That's amazing. No, I, I said during the introduction I wasn't going to tease you about your cleavage. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, the, 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 I just will not mention that. I'm sick of that. last time I was on a show, somebody was kidding about my dimple. Yeah. And he said to me, he said, you know, I'd love to yell into your dimple and listen to the echo. <laughs> it wasn't... Please explain that I was not the one who said No, that. you were not oh, the one. Oh, good. Okay. Your whole family did a movie with you, or you did a movie with them, or...? Something like that. Well, I think they, uh, I, well, a little bit of both. As a matter of fact, it was uh, an exciting experience because I've never worked with my family uh, that way before. My wife was the producer. My son, Peter, was a still photographer. My son, Eric, worked in the production department. I acted and directed in it. And our dog was also in the picture. So the whole, that's most of the family. Please support this family by going to see it. What you, it's, a, That's incredible. it's a picture called Scalawag, and we th think of it as a picture made by a family for families. I would like to have had my uh, two older boys, uh, Michael and Joel, but Michael's busy doing a series called The Streets of San Francisco. Oh, that's right. I did not realize that was your, yeah. that was the same Douglas. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm at the point where I refer to him as my kid brother but he's my son. <laughs> we have a picture of you here, of your family there signaling me. Well, there's the picture of you. Uh, <laughs> this is the uh, part, of, part of the family. Um, can you all see that? Well, you just have to come down on stage then. Those are the, uh, th those are the young Douglases, I gather. Uh, yeah, those are, that's Peter and Eric. Eric. That was taken in Yugoslavia, where we are on location for Scalawag. You are Yugoslav, aren't no. you? Didn't your family come from Yugoslavia? Or? No, my mother and father where came from Russia. That? From Russia? There is a difference. Yes, yes. Yeah. Best we bear that in mind. And, uh, but the picture was shot in, in uh, Yugoslavia. I don't know where I th what you think. You, you had kind of a, I think you said once in an interview, a B-movie childhood you came from yeah immigrant I've often parents you and, uh, remember that yeah, well, you yeah. remember that or you write that down on a no you somewhere. don't you remember me I sat in this I very chair yes, several I years ago you. you came and wouldn't take yeah, your shirt that's off right, I, that's, that's right that's <laughs> right I got a lot of nasty mail about that I uh, yeah I've often felt that my life is a B movie because I think that most uh, you know the American the typical American story is a B movie you know it's the son of immigrants or the daughter of immigrants their parents came to this country, they struggled, they went through college, and then they attained some kind of success. It's, it's, it's a very common uh, American story. As a matter of fact, the most uh, brilliant example of it is our new Secretary of State. When you think of a man, Henry Kissinger, who came here about 14 years of age, persecuted, goes to school here, still retains his accent. When I was at Washington for his swearing-in ceremony, it was... Yeah. It was very moving because here is the continuation of what the American story is all about. You have an immigrant who comes here and attains what he, what, what he attained. As a matter of fact, at that swearing in ceremony when we were going through the line, I said to President Nixon, I said, Mr. President, you know, my mother and father were immigrants and they came here from Russia. And I said, and I have attained 
a little success in movies, I said, all I can say is that by this ceremony today with a new Secretary of State, the quality of the immigrants is improving. <laughs> did, he like, did he like that? Yeah. Well, I think he did. That's good. <laughs> It's hard to tell when you talk to a president in a line if they actually, uh, you know, if they, if they hear you even. They're so, uh, I've been through a couple presidential receiving lines, and I always have the thing they're a little distracted, you know, they're just sort of nodding and moving. Well, also, by. don't you find yourself a little distracted? Because I yeah. have never been in the White House that I didn't feel before you're going to shake hands with the president, you're sort of wiping your palms. And, you That's know. right. It's, it's, uh, yeah. it's an exciting experience. A to tremendous be in the White desire House. to steal the silverware I, I had the <laughs> last time I was there. I remember when I was a kid, uh, they said to us once, a teacher, I think it was second grade, said, write out what you want to be when you grow up. Now, don't anybody put movie star, because none of you are going to be a movie star. And I remember thinking, well, They were how, right. How did she, they weren't, that's right. <laughs> but how did she know that? Now, you were in a... But I never wanted to be a movie star. Uh, when I was a kid, I always wanted to be an actor, and I've always thought, in a sense, uh, that I am a failure because I had dreamt always of going to Broadway and staying on, on the stage, and I've done about 12 Broadway plays. Most of them were flops. So I never thought of going into movies. That came, came later on. And I still dream of coming back to Broadway on the stage and acting on the stage. Has your nose been broken? A couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> Has your nose been broken recently? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, you beat me. Darn you. I was going to say, is mine about to be? I don't know. Yeah, I must have. Uh, obviously, I telegraphed that to you. You couldn't have thought of that yourself. Never. Uh, we'll be right back. <laughs>